Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rahakudash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. And I would like to give a double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learn the truth from. And I would like to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today, this message is going to be titled, Seeking the Lord is Protection from Fear. You know, going to by you repenting and seeking your powers, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that's going to protect you from the fear that's set to come here to America. You see? Because the Lord is going to bring great uh, disaster to America, Babylon the Great, for all the wickedness that this damn Edomite has done, the so-called white boy, to the tribes of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. His sins have reached unto heaven, and the Lord is going to get ready to destroy this place. But for the ones who seek after Yahweh by Hashem Shah, they shall be protected from uh, the danger said to come here to America. You see? The scripture tell you, um, matter of fact, let me grab this real quick. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. You see, and the scripture tell you, my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink, my servant shall rejoice. You see, so by you repenting and seeking after Yahweh by Shema Hey, that's the spirit that you're going to be in when America's going to shit, when the dollar collapse, when it ain't no more food here, when it's a great famine, great pestilence, when those damn martial law troops, those UN troops getting sent over here to America. That's the spirit that the electors want to be in because we're going to know. That our power is going to come and deliver us, right? Lord willing, we are there elect. You see? Now, going back to um, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 28, and the point is verse 5, but I'm going to read down, and this would, you know, spark the title. And this is after they crucified our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And it's, uh, verse 1 In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to draw toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake for the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. You see, and we know the keepers were those guards that they had to go sit outside. They didn't uh, believe in Yahweh Shai, man. They was all for him to be crucified. You see, no wicked scribe and Pharisees. They sent uh, troops over there to make sure that the disciples uh, wouldn't roll, take, roll back the stone and remove his body. You know, trying to be deceitful. You see, but they was all it was all of them being wicked. You see, and it says, and for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became his dead man. You see, so the guards they didn't believe in Yahweh Shai, and when they saw the angel, they dropped dead. You see, where well, it said they, yeah, when well, NLT says the guards shook with fear when they saw. Him and they fell into a dead faint. They passed out. You see? And it says, And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Yahweh Shai, which was crucified. You see? So the angel told them to fear, fear not ye, fear ye not. You see? And that's going to be the spirit of the elect in the times to come, Lord willing. Hey, we utter that number because, hey, the scriptures tell you how Michael the Archangel is going to stand up hey, for the hopefully elect, man. 
You see? Matter of fact, I'm going to grab that. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. Because this is how bad it's going to be, man. And it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stand up for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. You see? So it's going to be so bad that Michael the Archangel is going to have to stand up for the elect, man. Hey, how about Shemal Shah just might send the an angel, you see, to protect you. Hey, uh, like he did Heliodorus. When Heliodorus thought to go and uh, ransack the temple, the Lord... Yahweh by Shemel Shah sent, uh, if I'm not mistaken, three angels down. And they, they jumped Heliodorus, beat the shit out of him. You see? But a nigga who trusted Esau, Edom, and his ways, and think, oh, that's a fairy tale, that's fake, he'll see an angel and bug out. You see? Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll be spooked, but we're going to know these are from our powers, Yahweh by Shemel Shah, to protect us. That's what's going to make us not. Uh, fearful you see they're going to be protected from that fear that overwhelming fear man you see because like it says it's going to be a time like never before this nigga got robot dogs with 50 cows you see he's going to have these UN troops coming in that can't wait to kill you Americans and that's uh, what two thirds of you uh, Israelites are you a fucking American because you don't want to uh, repent and turn back into your true powers. Your Howard by Shem Al Shah. You want to live under Esau, Edom, and his system. So when all hell break loose, and you're going to have great fear upon you, and you're going to die a, a, a painful death, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near and now is the time where he can be found now is the time that he is near he still has his prophets out on the highways and byways where you can go out and receive his word even on the internet massive lessons coming out from the names first and foremost you see to, to health to, to, to everything man when is the correct sabbath what is the mark of the beast World War Three prophecies, the Karagma prophecy. You see, all these things are on the internet now, out out on the highways and byways. The words of the Lord has filled the earth, and hey, so you can receive it. This engrafted word to save your soul, you and your household. You see, it said, "Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and He will have mercy upon him." And to our powers, for he will abundantly pardon. You see? And that's our hope to have our sins uh, blotted out. You see? To receive that white stone to be uh, innocent in the sight of Yahweh by Hashem Shah, man. You see? That he have mercy upon us and pardon us of our sins. And by you doing that, these are the benefits. You see? Isaiah 65. <clears throat> Now I start at verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword. Two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will be numbered to the sword. And you will not be protected from the fear that's going to come here and throughout the four corners of the earth. You see? And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because you're going to march down to Esau's Edom concentration camps, his so-called FEMA camps, his refuge, refuge camps. You see, or whatever they want to call them, and get karagmed up. There's you bowing down to the slaughter because as soon as you take that, and you're going to receive a grievous sore, and you're going to die by the way of a missile, a nuclear missile. You see, it says, Because when I call, ye did not answer. And that's why. Because the Lord got his word out on the internet, on the highways and byways. And you, you scoff at it. You hold it insignificant. You don't think that this can help you. I tell you, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. 
you see, by you you hoarding up and stocking up, it's not going to save you in the times to come. Hey, that's in uh, the book of St. Luke. Thou fool, this night I require thy soul. Lord going to kill you. You can have all the canned goods in the world. And the Lord can have you get sick and die in the house. You see? There's many ways that the Lord can kill you. All because when he called, you did not answer. When I spake by the way of his prophets, ye did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So you won't be protected for uh from the danger set here to come because hey, you don't want to seek after Yahweh by Shah. Verse 13. For the ones who are seeking the Lord, you see, they're going to be protected from the danger and the fear that Yahweh by Hashem is going to bring here. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. You see, the servants are going to eat. The ones who are seeking after the Lord, they're going to eat. And it says, But ye shall be hungry. You're going to pine away, stricken through for the fruit and the food or the, uh, for, for starvation, man. You're going, to, you're going to wish you could eat a cheeseburger in that day, man. A cracker. You niggas going to, you, hey, that's going to be a grievous death, man. I tell you, it's better for you to just to be uh, killed by the sword than to die of hunger. It said, Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You see? You're going to be hungry, thirsty, and ashamed. And that's going to be a very scary time, man, to see massive people out here just dying from starvation. You see? To the point where people just going to give up and say, fuck it. We ain't got no other choice. And you're going to run to Esau, eat him, and you're going to receive a more grievous death. You see? It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. See, the servant, they're going to sing. Call the Lord, you're about to me out shy. We going to, Lord willing, we are that number. Hey, showing all 32 with you niggas, man. Smiling because it's a famine. Singing, praising you, how about she mouth shy in those days? But you niggas gonna, man, what the fuck funny? Ain't shit funny, my baby starving. You know what? We're gonna tell you, fuck you and your baby, and go to Esau, and he'll, he'll give you something to eat. And you're gonna die, man. And they're gonna feed you some poison. It says, But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. You see? All because you didn't want to seek the Lord. And I just want to see what this word seek says right here. Mm. Well, we know what seek means. Inquire, you know, investigate. Hey, they go into uh, to study. Oh, see? H. Uh, this is the word for seek. H. 1875. It says to restore to. Because once you seek out your Yahweh by Hashem Shah, it restores you to health. Ain't no matter what type of hell that you catching, it always result back to Yahweh by Hashem Shah said, and he won't. Uh, how it go? Matter of fact, so like I don't want to mess it up. In this book of Hebrews, chapter six, verse ten. It said, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. You see, so the Lord, he's not unrighteous to forget your works and labors of love. And by you seeking him out, hey, that's, that's a work. And you being a man, you seek him out, and once you get built up, you start teaching. You see? And you women, you seek him out as well, man. You not be teachers, yeah, teach the other women, the younger women and other women. But you to be quiet, man. You see? But seeking out the Lord, hey, that's a uh that restores you back to health, man. Cause once again, no matter what you're going through, you always know what the Lord said. He's not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love. He said, My servant's gonna eat, drink, rejoice, sing. That's what we're looking forward to, man. 
but to seek but you have to seek him out say to investigate it says um in first john don't trust everything um that a, a prophet says it roughly paraphrase it but it tells you to uh the trial to see whether they up yeah how about shim out or not and we go to the word try a basically uh scrutinize to investigate to study you see so you got to put down the port the cigarettes the adultery gang banger selling whatever dope whatever you into you got to cast it all away and trust in your how about shim out shy and know that he's gonna uh uphold you man you see going to the book of Sirach 29 verse 11 and it says lay up thy treasures and the mammals of the most high and you do that by seeking out your howl by Hashem going into these scriptures that's how you lay up your treasure according to the commandments of the most high keeping the uh, laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Keeping the Sabbath, not eating pork. Once again, smoking squares, committing adultery, robbing, killing. You see? And this shall bring thee more profit than gold. You see? And that more profit than gold is what? The being protected from the danger set to come here to America. Shut up arms in our storehouses. And your storehouse is your mind. And it shall deliver thee from all affliction. You see, it shall fight for thee against thy enemies better than a mighty shield and a strong spear. You see, so by you seeking out the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Al Shah, it's going to protect you. It's going to fight for you a better than a mighty shield and a strong spear. It's going to bring you more profit than gold. You see, I'm going to end it out right here. This is the book of. Ecclesiastes Sirach 34 and I'll start at verse 12 and it says uh, yep it says I was oft times 